in the dark. My, My lover tells, tells me that I make his blood boil, setting fires beneath us every night. I say it's only to keep us warm, you know. How else will we know that we are alive? She narrows her eyes at me, never able to shrink them to the shape or color of mine. She wonders if I'm working my black magic yet. What else could be wrapped up in such cryptic silences? We stage another witch trial each night. Me? I always get to play the witch. When I survive, I have marked myself again as wicked. We both know no real human could keep living through things like this. This wounding of me is a ritual of life. So many days each month bleeding on the dot, split, ripped, apart. Every morning, I wake. My body keeps healing, almost in spite of itself. Cut open wounds, closed like a mouth. Organs rearranged, bruises under my skin pale, erase over time. I, I do not, not understand how I was meant to be so invincible. Born from, bent over backs. I am lucky enough to have matured without knowing true sacrifice. I would not burn on the funeral pyre with a dead husband to fall from stones thrown for my rape. Cry abandoned in a field for being born a baby girl. Scream as a hungry volcano lapped up my virginity. My life would not be given up to save the community. Not, not in America. America. Where I eat from the food on the backs of my own fathers, brothers, mothers, sisters, cousins, aunties, uncles. In an endless effort, the dead grows from Faster than my skin can come back together. Or the blood settle beneath my surface. Or the soreness stop between my legs. Will my tongue find the right words in the right language? I will repay it. This wounding of me is a ritual of life. As I dress myself, feed myself, teach myself, decide my lover, sketch out my fate. I am not the photo of a screeching mouth spouting fear of destiny. I am not drawing dirty rags around my face, cowering in a backwards culture of oppression. I am not without flushing toilets and electric lights. I am not watching my elders stroke their beards and speak the words of the law. I choose this. I wake up here. I keep making it through the dark. My body, ripped split apart, creates the world. Disintegrating into ash, I follow my own phoenix's rising. Each life peels away like a layer, and I question if I cut the flesh from my arm for a suit, hacked my pinky from my hand for the night, slapped the English speaking arrogance from my cheek, shredded my knees bloody while begging for forgiveness, denied food to pass through these lips. If, if I, I took, took this body in sacrifice, would I think myself enough a woman? More than with my tailored suit and large unbound feet. More than with my college cultured words and ability <coughs> to look people in the eye. More than with this body grown over years and generations that's striking against it almost invisible. More than with my casual fucking inability to leave things behind. Would I believe myself enough to human as I gather what scraps I can, saving to repay the sacrifices to earn my life's worth of what's already been given for it. In the dark, my lover tells me that I make her blood boil, setting fires beneath us every night. I make hash marks in my skin, count up the tally. I wait and meditate the minutes subtracted from my hide, ripped, split apart. My body keeps healing, almost in spite of itself. This wounding of me 